Hey everybody, welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackbird, and today we're going to be going over a few more selection tools. And uh, these ones are the Lasso Tool, Polygonal, Polygonal Lasso Tool, and Magnetic Lasso Tool. And you can see that their hotkey is capital L. So let's get started. What these to tools do are pretty much create selections along things that you want to cut out or that you want to or you can switch them up and cut around them and everything like that so I'm gonna duplicate my layer here that way I don't have to uh, import or mess up my first layer that I'm working on what I'm gonna do is use the regular lasso tool first and pretty much this is just a free form drawing uh, tool that you can use to cut things out with so if you take a look if I click and hold down I'm able to draw from the triangle on the mouse cursor and I say I want to cut this bike out I'm able to draw my own freeformed mask or selection here and that way I have the bike cut out and then I can move it out and then work on it separately from uh, away from the background if I wanted to so a couple of tricks with the uh, uh, lasso tool if you hold down alt you can see that there becomes a, a uh, negative or a minus sign next to the lasso and that means when you try to when you go to cut in it's going to cut away what you were using and this has the same uh, modes up here as the other uh, selection tools we've got the subtract we've got the intersect and we've got um, what is this one called again subtract intersect and add that's what the other one was adding so and then this one's just normal a normal selection tool so um, that's uh, a trick with the lasso tool I'm gonna hit control D to deselect and uh, that's the hotkey to deselect or you can come up into select and go to deselect which is right here now if I'm dragging out a uh, a lasso going like this and then I hold down alt and let go uh, you can see that the icon changes into a polygonal lasso tool and I still have alt held down if I click here I'm going to be able to make straight lines now and then when I finish I just let go of all and then it will connect everything for me also with the lasso tool if you draw something that's incomplete it'll automatically connect by a straight line the first point to the last point that you ended up trying like that so that's how you use the lasso tool and it's good for um, if you have a really steady hand you can use it to cut things out with um, if you don't then it's good for just creating like a garbage um, mask or a garbage crop or something like that for you to work work with and you can also get in and fine-tune some harder to figure out uh, areas like if you wanted to cut out like the the area in between here you might want to use this uh, lasso tool so let's get on to the next tool which is the polygonal lasso tool and basically it's the same thing as the lasso tool except for it creates straight lines so if you hold shift down it'll create a line that is perpendicular to the line that you just made and then by coming to your beginning uh, point connecting those two you can see that the icon um, by my mouse has a circle and that means it's ready to be completed so click again and then it'll complete your selection for you so that's how you can make uh, hard edged polygon shapes now let's go to the magnetic lasso tool and this one's a pretty sweet tool it pretty much um, binds the selection to um, the contrasting color that's um, near where you are putting your selection so I'm gonna click and I'm gonna hold and you can see that the selection I'm gonna stay near my selections here and you can see that it pretty much like binds to the handlebar it'll bind down to this um, piece of metal or cable or whatever that was it's binding to the basket 
you get a bunch of points when you're doing it this way, but um, it's pretty helpful that it does the, this nicely for you. So then when you're done, you just connect and you just go to your first. It's basically meant to be go around the whole entire object and then come back and connect so that you can now um, use this to cut out more or to uh, have a nice, nice exact cut out shape on your object. So that's how you use the magnetic lasso tool, the polygonal and the regular lasso tool. So use those to your advantage. They're pretty uh, nice tools. And uh, thanks for watching this one. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.